West Africa's latest successful coup in Niger on 26th of July 2023 has renewed unease about coups returning and democracies dying in Africa. In just a matter of months, four West African countries have had coups that have seen the overthrown of their leaders. Leaders they claim were Western puppets, placed to loot their country's resources. You may think they are wrong, but the fact is, why is France and some Western countries so annoyed and threatens to strike back? France has threatened to launch an attack on Niger, who just ousted its president through a military coup, and says the coup leaders are a threat to their interests. What interests? The military junta that seized power in Niger has accused France of plotting military intervention to reinstate the deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum, as tensions in the region continue to grow in the wake of the coup. There are unconfirmed reports that 1,000 French troops might be marching to Niamey, Niger. But why is France so troubled? What interests are they defending? Well, if you haven't been current with France dealings in Niger, I will bring you up to speed. Niger military leaders have suspended the export of uranium and gold to France with immediate effect, as Niger is the world's seventh largest producer of uranium. Uranium is a major mineral needed by France in its nuclear power plants, and Niger is the world's seventh biggest producer of uranium. The radioactive metal is the most widely used fuel for nuclear energy. It is also used in treating cancer, for naval propulsion, and in nuclear weapons. Yet, Niger is one of the poorest countries in the world, with more than 10 million people living in extreme poverty. Over 70% of Niger doesn't have access to electricity. The face of poverty in Niger is disturbing. Over 75% of Nigerians living below the poverty line. It is only logical that one day Nigerians will come to the realization that they are being exploited and demand for their rights. However, Burkina Faso, Mali and Guinea in a joint statement warned that any military intervention against Niamey, Niger would be considered a declaration of war against their nations, adding that such a move could result in disastrous consequences that could destabilize the entire region. The warning was read out on their national broadcasters a day after ECOWAS threatened to use force to reinstate Niger's deposed president, Mohamed Bazoum should the coup plotters not comply after seven days. Despite this largely symbolic break from a colonial history with France, 14 countries have remained indebted to France since their liberation from them in the 1960s. Benin, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, Mali, Niger, Togo, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Guinea-Bissau, Equatorial Guinea, Chad, Congo Brazzaville, and Gabon. Through a colonial pact, France forced these countries to put 85% of their foreign reserve into France's central bank. France is quite desperate but active to keep a stronghold on his colonies, whatever the cost, no matter what. Do you think Niger should continue trading with France? Do you think Burkina Faso, Guinea and Mali should send in troops to defend Niger? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment box below. Until next time, have a good one.